Industrial Water Treatment Guide to the Water Market Pretreatment for High Pressure Boilers. And we distinguish high pressure pretreatment and high pressure boilers by boilers that generate steam that are typically used in turbines to generate electricity. In pretreatment, water from rivers, lakes, oceans, and wells come into the pretreatment plant, and the first step is typically clarification where suspended solids are removed. From there into sand filtration and or carbon filtration. Sand filtration will remove finer particles and carbon filters will remove organics. A next step can be ultrafiltration where even finer particles are removed from the water. From there we go into double pass reverse osmosis and reverse osmosis uses, utilizes the membrane that remove dissolved materials, passing pure water through the membrane but keeping dissolved materials behind. Then through what's called a polishing demineralization or a polishing demin, where additional removal of anions and cations occur before being fed into the boilers. The last step is through deaeration, where oxygen or non-contensible gases are removed. And from there, the water then passes into a high pressure boiler. This chart here gives you a basic understanding of the flow of the water through the high pressure pretreatment. And this chart will go through briefly clarification, sand filtration, carbon filtration, ultrafiltration, reverse osmosis, polishing demins, and deaeration. The second page lists all the products that Brentag brings to the table for use in high pressure boiler pretreatment. Always consult a water, Brentag water additives manager for guidance when dealing with high pressure boilers and high pressure pretreatment. Again, high pressure pretreatment for high pressure boilers. Some of the steps that are used to prepare water for use for high pressure boilers. Thank you.